subscribe to the Danny Houston podcast, man. Yeah, man, it's going down. It's Danny Houston podcast. I am Danny Houston. Check it out, man. We got a special guest, man, uh, today in the house, man. Listen, he been putting it down, doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we was just talking off at the boy, say, man, I should have been here a year ago. You know <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, what I mean, I, I really mess with this dude, man. He got a good spirit. You know what I'm saying? Cool dude, man. Actually, you know, Kiki's the one. Look, Kiki's the one who introduced me to him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's on his new album. You know what I mean? Uh, you can see him out here hustling, doing his thing with the Crown Series. You know what I mean? He's pushing the prayer match. You know what I'm saying? He's got a whole lot going on, man, representing these Texas, man. man. LD300, what's going down? Man, down? we finally here, man. What's going down, man? What's the deal? So, go on, you can tell me how you feel, man. You man, know? I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm feeling good. It's just, I ain't going to lie, man. This shit. This shit was some bucket list shit, you know what I'm saying? I really did feel like I was supposed to be here a year ago, but everything's supposed to, have, you know, happen in the time that it's supposed to happen. But I, you know, very appreciative. You done grew in that time, and uh, sometimes, you know, when you you have your mind made up to do something, and, and it's and it's in the making, you know what I'm saying? Organically in the making. So, excuse me, just in the. Uh, in the time since I first started watching your podcast, it's done took off to another level. So, you know, I'm very appreciative to be able to come here in your, you know, in all your glory. You in, you in all your glory right now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm to the point now, I'm happy. I'm happy I get to slide up in and see you in your new digs and shit, you know, because I've been fucking with you since you had the, the old couch. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, your couch is done stepped up and shit, man, and I'm just... Real happy to be here. You know what I'm saying? Nah, and it's a win for everybody that's like me, that's, that follow your shit. Like, niggas, me being here, this shit is real important. You know what I mean? So, you know, I appreciate you having me. Yeah, nah, for sure, man. Um, what you, what, so what's going down, man? I know you got, the, you got the Crown Series going right now. You got the match going and all that. Crown Series going crazy. Just started going, started streaming digital on uh, February the 4th. Um. For those that haven't been tapped into what I've been doing from the beginning, physical copies and the and the merch packs and bundles that we've been coming with from from the beginning, you gotta understand. I just uh, I got out of prison March twenty fifth, twenty nineteen, and so it's not March twenty nineteen yet. So I'm going. I mean, uh, twenty twenty two yet. So I'm going on thirty six months, uh, close to you know being free. Um, in that time, what's that jail talk? I'm a little nigga in jail to break it down like that. Nigga won't say three years. Nigga say thirty six. Thirty six months, months now nah, because it's a, you know what I'm saying. I'm you the reason counting, nigga be used to counting them days. Huh? I'm used to counting days. Not only that, it's it's about the amount of work that you are doing inside of these cycles of these months mm. versus like if I tell you that I had uh, put out or I have fourteen. Out, how many albums? If I have, if I say I had thirteen albums that I put out since I in these three years, for me, it's better to say I have thirteen albums released in these thirty six months because hmm. that seems like a bigger amount of time than three years. Three years is damn near like you know. Okay, you've been out three years and you got thirteen albums. It kind of sound right. Versus 36 months, you can kind of see the breakdown of it. You know what I mean? So, um, and everything was direct to consumer. People hit, you know, hit me, DMing me for all of the bundles that we that we put together for those albums. And I wasn't on digital for a long time, like until right now. But, um, you know, people definitely, Kiki just uh, was one of them ones. Like, man, you in this game, you got to be all in. So, you know, um, we wanted to make the music available for those that that because you know we cds flash drives you know lighters t-shirts box sets um it's funny with the with this last out the crowns 11 and the prayer mat set that that came with that um it wasn't that that i was making a prayer mat to hustle anybody you know like anybody that know me prayer is essential man like for me everything that i've been able to accomplish in this relatively short amount of time to everybody else it's a short amount of time um it's been because of you know having that consistent prayer schedule you know what i'm saying and just making sure 
that I prioritize that shit. And by me doing that, um, that's what's going to allow me to have, I feel like, traction in this shit to be able to survive off rap alone uh, and all of that. But, you know, now we to a place where we finna get ready. We about to take it up a notch, a serious, crazy notch. So, hmm. you know, it's been beautiful. Um, definitely everything about it has been beautiful. But, you know, there's a lot that I want out of this. A lot. So, we just had the beginning phases, really. Like, yeah. for real. I mean, what you been doing all right, though? I mean, you on Key's new album. You know what I'm saying? Key, man. Yeah, man, bro. Um, no cap. That's done did something for me, I ain't gonna lie. Mm. You know, he didn't put me on no cap. It's done kind of took me to a little, a new little, you know, they say yesterday's price, you know. Mm. Mm. Not today's price, you know, so that's. Which is a hell of an album to be on, you know what I'm saying? He got a great album out right now. Tell me what you think about his album. I like his album. I called him and told him. I, I told him for one, it took me, I would have called him sooner because I had it earlier. I said, I would have called you sooner, but it took me two days to get past the first two songs. You know what I'm saying? I was running them two back. Before we even, but the whole thing, man, like, I think for somebody to have, say, their first album came out 25 years ago, because it's a 25-year anniversary, you know what I'm saying, Don't Mess With Texas. This dude, he don't even, like, he, he don't. To say your first album came out 25 years ago, and you can still put out music at that level. This nigga don't get that. There's something to be said about that. He don't get that. He don't get that. Yeah. I promise you he don't. Like, nigga. That's amazing, nigga. Like, that shit is in the streets. Like, people are really gravitating to that. You know what I mean? Um, that shit is a unthinkable thing. And now, you know, he done got to a point to where he's never done nothing else. You know, so he never had a job or no shit. So this shit, just him being able to execute at that level, you know, he gets told that shit, but he don't really live inside of that type of shit. So, and again, for me, somebody like me, I learn a lot from him in the way he, the way he responds and moves towards certain shit like that. It's important. Like, he's happy that he's being fucked with for sure, but when it come down to it, it's like business as usual with him. He like already, he, he don't enjoy shit. He always on to the next shit, right. for sure. Yeah, no, like, I he's it. already thinking about some other shit right now, you know? Yeah. But yeah, he did that. He did yeah. that, and I was d very grateful that he included me in that shit and took that time to find like that one. Like, man, I want you to be on this one. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So you know, definitely most shout out to my bro, man. Look, man, how did y'all leave him? Because like I said, that's how you know. This is what you got. For one, I be up early. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I you be up early? early? I be up early all the time. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What's that's early how, for you? That's how Kiki knew to call me that early. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'll be up that early. I'm going to be up every day, five, six o'clock latest. You know what I'm okay. saying? Up, so I'm, up, or just? No, I'm, I'm up. up. I'm up. Okay. I'm up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't nothing open, but I'm up. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. up doing shit. I'm working. I'm doing six in the morning. I'm editing videos. I'm doing shit like that. You know okay. what I'm saying? Boys call me. You know what I mean? Hey, man, I got a partner on the phone, man. This is my partner, Al D, <laughs> man. You know what I mean? He like a... He think he like a, a little Kiki historian. So, yeah, I say, know a lot about that nigga. He say, man, I'm finna, I'm finna click him in right now. And yeah, boom, you know what I'm saying? What and was we arguing about that day? It was something we talking about. It was about, was it the Freestyle King shit? I don't know. It was some kind of some debate kind shit. Of some shit. Some shit. <laughs> yeah. some, 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 you know yeah. what I'm saying? But we going in, it's early in the morning. You know what I mean? It's still dark outside. For sure. But, uh, you know, for y'all to even have that type of relationship, man, like how do you even... <sighs> Long story, man, um, um, in 2006, um, I did my first mixtape, 300 Reasons for War. Um, so I had got him, well, actually, shout out uh, J.D. and Spence and Truck, who, excuse me, they had booked him um, in East Texas. They had booked him in... Uh, you know, in Longview, they had booked him. And uh, when I first met him, he was like on some shit. Like, uh, man, they tell me like you like Lil Wayne down here type shit. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. So, um, you know, we we end up we linked up in my crib. We uh, he hosted my mixtape. You know, we knocked the uh, knocked the song out. All that shit online and shit. It's crazy that he don't remember that. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, do not remember. He don't remember that shit, but. From where I'm from, that shit was big, you know, but I got locked up, of course. That shit came out, like, at the end of 2006, 
February 5th, 2007, I, um, you know, called Unit kicked my door in, boom, I'm gone. So I never really got to see the impact hmm. of the of the mix, the album, you know, what it did. But from where I'm from, they telling me that was the, you know, and they still praise it to this day. So I never got a chance to really fuck with that shit like that. And, you know, when I got out, of course, to anybody that, if you rap or you do music, anything that you made 10 years, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to hear that shit. And I don't want to hear that shit. So um, then when I got out, uh, of course, I did 12 years. So when I got out, um, and I'm like, all right, I'm finna get on this shit. Da, 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 da. He was like the first person that I reached out to on some, like, man, this is what I'm finna do. Da, 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 da. So I got a verse from him. Um, he, he did the introduction to my, my first album coming home, which was the first crowns. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.